Sincere love is the ability to look in your partner's eyes and say, honey, I promise you today, my commitment to love you will never change for as long as I live. the new chapter of your life. Um, anyone would be lucky to have the type of trust and love that you guys have. Elsie, I love you, and I will always do anything for you. Brandon, I think I speak for the whole family when I say she's 100% your responsibility now. <laughs> so, have fun with that. Uh, so, to my lovely sister and her husband, Brandon's best friend since I've heard of him at Tillman Elementary School together. Started in second grade, and he was kind enough to uh, be my friend, even though I had these huge glasses and eye patch, and it didn't make it easy uh, kicking the soccer ball around our backyard. It wasn't the most athletic either. I cannot wait to see what the future brings for both of you. Um, Elsie is the most perfect person for you. You're lucky to have her. You should thank her every day for keeping you around. <laughs> But uh, 
really appreciate you including me on your special day here today. I love you both. So can we all please raise your glass and give a cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Evelyn. find the words to express how excited I am to marry the girl of my dreams. Everyone keeps asking me if I'm nervous, but honestly, I woke up this morning feeling nothing but excitement to finally be your husband. You really are my best friend. <laughs> and I don't know what my life would be without you. As I got ready this morning, I couldn't help but think of all our incredible memories we already have and smile. I still remember the very first time I saw you standing in the standing in the Bigler dorms, looking adorable, and I'm so thankful I took a chance to come talk to you. I love you so much, and I promise to do everything possible to always keep you happy because there's nothing I love more than seeing you smile. I'll see you soon, my love. I'm so glad this day is finally here. Love you forever, your future husband. For 18 to 20 years, as parents, we, we spend those years trying to allow them or teach them to embrace values and morals that we try to embrace as parents. We try to teach them to believe in themselves, try to be confident, try to make good life decisions, we want them to surround themselves with good influences and ultimately try not to tarnish the Whitman family name. <laughs> sometimes you feel helpless. Sometimes you want to give advice when maybe they don't want it. And ultimately, we're just hoping that they find that guy. Does he respect her? Does he trust her? Brandon is that guy that we spend years and years hoping for. So we have just one more life-affecting event to get through, and today's it. You ask me, am I okay? What the hell am I doing? I'm doing fine. As a matter of fact, I'm doing great. Cindy and I strongly and confidently welcome Brandon and the entire Evelyn family into ours. Feeling great. I'm excited. Uh, been a long time, long time coming, so really looking forward to the day. I'm like a little nervous, but it's just like the rush of the day, but I'm excited. And the first time I saw her at Penn State. It was my first day of school at Penn State. It's just like this beautiful girl. I, I struck up the courage to go talk to her. And I was walking around with a friend uh, on the fourth floor of our dorm. Um, 
just kind of like trying to get the lay of the land and walking around and he just walked up to us like so, you know, nonchalant and was just like, hi, I'm Brandon. And I was like, oh, this guy is really cute. <laughs> so ever since then, she's just incredibly smart and driven and she's funny and I love hanging out with her. I'm so glad he like walked up to me and said hi that first day. We do so many fun things together. When we go on trips, just the two of us, like it's, it's the best time. So that's how you kind of know it's like your best friend. I love him so much and I'm so excited to be his wife and I get so tripped up with. Um, today couldn't be a more perfect day, especially because I get to marry you. So I'm so excited and I love you and I can't wait to see you. This is going to be an incredible day. We have an, an awesome future in front of us and can't wait to see you. I just know it's just going to get better from here. I'm so excited. It's just it's a blank canvas, but I think I think it's going to be it's going to be a great future. For some reason, I got really nervous on the way over here. Just every everybody wasn't going to make it to the venue, but I think we're good now. It'll be good once I see her. Over the years and leading to this moment, we have gladly watched two individuals with first and last names slowly become a couple that needs no last name. You are Brandon and Elsie. And we pray Christ's blessing upon you as he mysteriously joins you, two individuals, together as one in him. And he knows what is best. And he sincerely loves you a whole lot. Forever seems like a long time, but nothing seems like a long time when I am with you. I feel like I'm walking on water since the day that I, Brandon, take you, Elsie, to be my wife. I, Elsie, take you, Brandon, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. When talking about sincere love, St. Paul and the other apostles make it clear that sincere love is action-oriented and our ability to love comes directly from God himself. I truly believe that God has made you special for me. Since the day I met you eight years ago, I can honestly say that there has not been one minute that I didn't want to be next to you. You're my perfect human and my best friend. My parents have always said that love shouldn't be hard, but Brandon, loving you has been the easiest thing I've ever done. Thank you for loving me passionately and unconditionally. You build me up while keeping me grounded. You're a friend to everyone you meet and have the most honest and genuine heart. And I promise to honor and protect it for the rest of my life. You show me what real hard work looks like and ambition and I promise to support and empower you to fulfill your dreams as they are my own and to follow you wherever you go. I also vow to be your escape when the world seems like it's moving too fast and to give you as many back massages as you need. I promise to be the best wife and mom that I can possibly be for our family and to keep a protein bar in my purse at times to curb my hunger and hide my crazy in case of emergency. I promise to cherish you and every moment I have with you, to never stop dating you, and to consciously and actively choose you every day. I vow to respect you, 
to defend you and to always hold you in the highest regard. You always say that you don't believe in luck and that you create your own luck. Well, in that case, then thank you for walking up to me almost nine years ago on just our second day of school just to say hello because I must be the luckiest girl in the entire world and I knew it the day I met you. I've loved you for what seems like an eternity and I promise to love the man you will become as much as I love the man you are today. Today I give you my hand, my life, and my heart without conditions forever as your wife. I don't think either of us thought that we'd meet the person we spend the rest of our lives with on the second day of college. But standing here today, I wouldn't change a thing. Since the day we've met, I've loved being a part of your life and building a relationship with you. And although I'm not one to run home and gush about the incredible girl that I met at school, I think my parents knew exactly how important you were to me the second that I brought you home. Now I can't imagine my life without you, and I promise to love you as you deserve to be loved for the rest of your life with admiration, passion, and respect. I look forward to getting up every morning and spending another day as your partner. I promise to celebrate your accomplishments, support your goals, and take on your dreams because I, as a team, I know we'll do amazing things and build an unforgettable future together. I promise to help carry your burdens and your struggles, and I promise to be there to listen when you just need to be heard. I can't wait to enjoy life's adventures with you because you're my best friend. And I promise to continue to make you laugh and fill our years together with excitement and new challenges. I promise to love your family like my own and to be the man you'd be proud to be called call your husband. In the future, I promise to be the father you've always dreamed you'd be raising your children with, even if they're all daughters. <laughs> I vow to remain by your side as we grow old, and I can only hope that someday we'll get to look back together and enjoy our memories of incredible days like this with friends and family. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I vow to be true and faithful to you for as long as we both live. I do. I pronounce you husband and wife. Let no one separate what God has joined together. Brandon, you may kiss your wife. Good job. 